Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video lecture, we will be discussing about syntax of cascading style sheets. In lecture number 6, we have discussed syntax by using inline CSS and now in this lecture, we will be discussing the syntax by using internal cascading style sheets. First, we'll start with introduction part. After that, we'll move to the practical section where I will tell you uh, that how you can practically use the internal style sheets in your HTML code. Alright, so as we have discussed in previous lecture, inline CSS means what? We can use cascading style sheets properties only on a single statement, only in one HTML tag at a time. But if we talk about internal CSS, it is used to add a unique style for a single document, not for a single statement or not for a single tag. Okay, remember this point that internal style sheet is used to add a unique style for a single document. It is defined in between head section. As you all know, in case of HTML, we always write its uh, basic structure like HTML, head, then we write title. Suppose my title here is ABC and uh, here we close the title. Then what we always do, we always close the head section and then start the body part, right? So if we are going to use internal CSS, we always write style tag in between the head section. Always write style tag in between the head section and close it before the head is closed. Okay, so this is how you can use the internal CSS. And one more thing here is for uh, internal CSS, there is no need to create a separate notepad plus plus or notepad page. You just need to write a single HTML page. Okay. Let's just move to the practical section so it will be easier for you to understand everything, right? So first of all, you should start with basic HTML code, HTML head, then title, title would be internal CSS example. Okay. Then close the title section, then close head, right? And then we start with body tag. After that, at the end of the program, we need to close the body and at last close the HTML section. Okay, so before CSS, what we do is we always write code between the body section. For example, if I write here h1, hi my name is abcd and close the h1 tag okay after h1 uh, let me just uh, write h3 okay hi i love html and css then close h3 tag again let me just write h1 okay Listen to me carefully. This particular video is very important, right? So, I love all about CSIT. Then close H1 and again I am using H3 tag. This is an example of internal CSS. Okay, then close the H3 section. Now what you know, uh, you need to do is save this as internal dot HTML. Save this file by using HTML extension only. Save. Okay, then go to the folder and you can run this particular program on your browser. So you can see this is statement 1 that is heading 1, this is heading 3, again heading 1 and this is again heading 3. Now, if you are using internal CSS, so as I have told you, before the head close, you need to write the style tag. 
okay write the style tag here after the style tag add h1 that is the selector i have told you in introduction part okay i have told you in introduction part this is the selector and this is the declaration block selector is what it is nothing but a tag that we have used under the body section okay this is nothing but a tag that we have used under the body section so this is the selector here okay after the selector you should start with your curly braces okay curly braces then write it as color colon red semicolon and then curly braces closed after that what you can do you can close your style tag okay before closing the before closing the head section you need to close the style tag save this and and refresh so you can see the difference here we have used h1 heading two times in a row and when i give h1 any property then it will automatically applies to every h1 tag similarly if i write Uh, let's say background colon is very important right colon is used to separate different properties if i write background color colon let's say blue okay then semicolon and then close the curly braces save this program and refresh so you can see this is how internal css actually works so before moving further you should know the advantages of using internal css so one advantage you can see is if you have written so many h1 headings and you want to give same properties to all the head h1 headings written under the body section you can use internal style sheets okay this is the major advantage now let's move to the h3 heading okay so for h3 you need to write h3 then start the curly brackets okay then you can write here color colon uh, let's say red color uh, sorry i'm using blue color here okay then if you want background color colon green semicolon and then close save and refresh so you can see the difference here okay this is how you can easily use internal style sheets on your web pages okay now let's take one more example here let's say i am using p tag p Uh, p means paragraph tag okay and under this paragraph tag i am writing some disadvantages or advantages of uh, using internal css okay so in case of internal css you can use class and id selectors we will discuss selectors id selectors class selectors in next lecture okay so if you are using internal uh, css you can use class and id selector in this style sheet full stop now disadvantages adding the code to the html adding the code to the html document can can increase the page size and loading time so this is the major disadvantage and advantage of using uh, what internal cascading style sheets okay now let's just close the paragraph tag here okay so here i have closed the this tag now save and run this program so you can see this is the paragraph tag now i want to add some properties to this paragraph so what you can write here is add p 
then go for its properties like color is equals to let's say green okay and uh, after the color property you can add margin let's just run this post save and refresh so you can see the color is green now you can uh, add font size also font size colon let's say 50 px px means pixels and refresh so this is you can use class and id selectors in the style sheet and adding the code to the html document can increase the page size of and the loading time document okay now if you want to add margin this is one of the most important property that is margin left from left we are going to uh, give it a margin of 100 pixels save and refresh so you can see this is the 100 pixel margin if you want you can increase or decrease this margin 200 save this is uh, the 100 margin now refresh and you can see this is the 200 pixel margin if you want to give margin to the right side, you can also write it here uh, like a margin right colon, let's say 200 pixels semicolon, save and refresh. Okay, so this is how you can give so many properties together by using internal cascading style sheets. So that's all for today. I hope you understood every point. So thanks for watching.